it is mid-November in this video and it's our last harvest of the autumn season. It was actually such a perfect day when I decided to harvest the fruit. The sky was so clear, the sun was shining, and everything was so vibrant. It was so beautiful. I'm editing this video at the start of February when it's already cold and snowing. And I can't wait to show you in the next video how it's like. But for now, please enjoy with me at the end of last year's harvest. This is an ancient fruit tree and is the last of our trees and the property to bear fruits before winter comes. It's called the medlar tree and in Serbian it's called Mushmula. They're a member of the rose family. Age spans around 30 to 50 years. I'm not exactly sure how old this medlar tree is in particular, but it's well established, just like the rest of the trees around the property. During late spring, around May, the trees bear pinkish white rose-like flowers. Then by autumn, around September, these flowers develop into inch-wide rounded brown fruits, as you can see. The immature and edible hard fruits are then harvested in late autumn, around late October, early November, when they're not yet fully ripe. You know they're ready to be harvested when the fruits part easily from the branches of the tree. And since the fruits aren't ready to be eaten yet at this point, they have to go through a process called bletting. It's such a funny word to me. Bletting is basically a fermentation process. Just like when you make kimchi or sauerkraut or vinegars. Blet is a state of, in this case, softness or decay in certain fruits brought about by ripening. It sounds a little gross, but that's how it's been done for many years. The fruit even made an appearance in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. I won't include it in this video because it's mildly inappropriate, but you can google it if you want to know more about it. So anyway, bletting the medlars take about 2-3 to three weeks and you know they're ready for consumption when the fruits are soft and squishy. They need to be peeled like so and there are about 3-4 to four seeds per fruit. The taste is similar to apples, mushy apples with a little hint of cinnamon and lemon. They're strangely delicious, actually. Meddlers are also similar to one of the Philippine fruits called chico. Here I was sorting out the fruits from very hard to almost ready to eat. <laughs> Slippers and socks. area where the tree logs were chopped to make firewood. I collected the leftover barks and chunks to use as kindling for winter and because I'm editing this video in February I can tell you they were very very helpful. Living with nature has taught us to be even more resourceful and be less wasteful. I mean we aren't perfect at it but I truly feel that it's a step forward for us. Mother Nature provides us so much, we just have to learn how to use what is being offered. Winter will be challenging, but we are ready and we are so excited. Mila, Luca and I have never experienced snow before. This year will be our first and I'm looking forward to showing you what's next. 
take care everyone and i'll see you in the next video bye